like a band. Yes. That's it. When I play the guitar, when I write, when I perform, I think like a band. I never think it's just it's just one guitar, you know. I, I, I try to hear the whole thing. And some of my other pieces that I play with orchestra, the orchestra's in my head. Yeah. You know? so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What happened to me a little bit later in my life, when I was about seven or eight around that time, I heard a man named Chet Atkins on the radio and he was playing a style that sounded like a piano player but it was on, on the guitar, meaning it, it had bass, it had rhythm and then it had melody and harmony all at once. And I thought it was the most incredible thing and I, I started to work it out and, and it changed my life forever. Uh, I'm on a mission to see what I can possibly do because I don't know what's possible. I, I must keep pushing to, to see what I, where, where I can go, you know. But um, yes, it's a lot of hard work and you've got to practice. You've got to be dedicated, you know. It, it, I'm sure if you ask the question to Muhammad Ali or to Sylvester Stallone or a anybody, they'd say, I get up in the morning and I work, you know, yeah, yeah. and because uh, I remember, I mean, Muhammad Ali has been an inspiration to me as a, as a man, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as an achiever, uh, as a man who, against the odds, mm -hmm. uh, created, made the world a better place. But you know, w when you hear from his manager that he was the first person at, at the gym and the last one to leave, and he never stopped working. You know, that's why he said, he actually said he hated training, but he did it because he wanted to be a great champion. Mm. Well, lucky for me, I, I love to play, so I never have to force myself. I actually have to sometimes put the guitar down because my hands are saying, I need a break, you yeah. know? <laughs> Tell me more about uh, your instrument. Well, the, this guitar here is uh, Australian made. It's all uh, Australian woods. This is Queensland maple, it's a maple back inside. This is a spruce top, this is rosewood. And um, you might see on the top here, there's a little kangaroo. Yes. Yeah, this, this tells us that it's Australian, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what, I have a little story about that. Many years ago, on an older guitar than this, mm. uh, I was playing a show in Australia and a, a very old man, like an ex-Air Force guy, came up and I gave him a salute and, uh, and he gave me a little gold pin uh, with a kangaroo on it to put in my coat, right? Yeah. So I put it in my coat and then um, I got home and I took the pin and I cut the actual needle part of it off yeah. and I glued it to the top of my guitar. Wow. And so many people saw it on YouTube and all that sort of stuff, they wrote to the mate and guitar company and said, we want a kangaroo on our guitar. Yeah. Oh, so they end up having to make it out of pearl. What a nice salute. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, th this guitar, um, it looks a little raggedy, but oh. it's for a very good reason. You see, I, um, the, the guitar, you see that? Oh, right. If you have a smooth surface, it doesn't make any sound. Yeah? Yeah, of course. So that makes no sound, but see that? Mm -hmm. I do this so that I can play the bass. Oh, okay. I play the bass with my left hand. Okay. And I can play, can play like a, a, a drummer playing the brushes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, and, and that again is, I do that because nobody else does. Yeah. You know, I just want it to be different, you know? Definitely. So, the world is full of great guitar players. So, you've got to do something to stand out. I remember a friend of mine uh, inviting me to your show. Mm -hmm. And he said, you just got to see this. And, um... Because what he's doing, he is actually playing like he's an entire band. Yeah. Can That's the state of mind as well as the. Please tell me how yeah. you think and show me the technique. Okay. If well, you can. Yeah. Well, if. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Let me show you this. I mean, show us the technique. Okay. Uh, 
There's a song of mine called The Jolly Swagman that um, I wanted it to be like a, an Irish kind of jig, or like, like a, a, a jig or a reel. And, and so I created this. Uh, So you've you've got you've got the drum part kind of thing, and and when I'm played in when I'm plugged in, if I hit the guitar there, it goes boom, right? So you got that boom, 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 boom like this, yeah. Then then I play the melody over the top, and then bring the bass in. So. So you've got all those parts going at the same time, and then there are other things that I, that, that I do, like um, um, the Beatles mu music, where you, where you've got the. Uh, this is a song I wrote, um, uh, dedicated to Jerry Reed, who was one of my favourite writers. So I, I I have this kind of moving. <laughs> Yeah. There's a yeah, lot going yeah. on like a piano yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so fantastic. Uh, and sometimes when I play like there's a song of mine called Stevie's Blues where where you've got uh, the <laughs> right. So that, that's the verse part of it. And then when I improvise, I play the backing and then improvise with my fingers. So so I get uh, It was a real uh, turning point in my career. I, I released an album uh, and I got a deal with a major label and when the album came out <coughs> I was on tour with John Denver and we were playing to about 15,000 people a night <coughs> and um, so I came out as a new artist to, to the public. And they loved what I did, thank heavens. And they all ran out and bought my album. And my first album went gold in two weeks. You know, it boom, just sold like, like that. <coughs> and um, so that was 88. Then in 1990, with my band, this is playing electric music as well as mm. acoustic. Yes. I, I got the Eric Clapton tour and I, um, I opened for Eric for the whole tour. Wow. And that, elevated me in my home country to a much bigger level. So, and that's why uh, you can be lucky and that, that can happen. So, so sometimes people get themselves on a big tour with, you know, Beyonce or someone like that. Mm. And the crowd don't care who's on first. They're just waiting for Beyonce. But I was lucky. Um, the Eric Clapton tour, Eric's audience are uh, music lovers. Mm. They, they, they love him and his, his music and, and, and so my style seemed to fit just right and I got a great response. Oh, yeah. And then and, and when you start to, to pull the crowd, that's when the right people become interested in you. Oh, yes. The right agents, the right promoters, that kind of thing. So there was that and then a few years later, I released an album called Determination and that was a double platinum album. And it's, it's still selling, you know. And I wrote the whole album on what we call a four-track cassette. It was a cassette player that, that you could multi-track on. It had four tracks. Uh, so I wrote the whole album on this. I would um, I, I would set up a microphone and put it in front of my guitar, and I go, and I would play the drum part. Then I go, and I play the bass part. Then on the third chair, on the third track, I go. And so there, there's the band, and 
then I just write melody over the top of it. Yeah, yeah and that's how I wrote the album. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, and then in 93, I came here to Los Angeles mm. and I made an album called The Journey. And that, that was a double platinum album. And that, that was, by that time, I was pretty uh, solidified. I, I, I was playing big halls and in, in, this is in Australia. But um, uh, I, I think probably the album that's been the most important in my life is an album called Only. And it's uh, 16 of my original songs, just solo acoustic. And it's a similar thing to what I've done with the latest album, just me solo. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. So, a little bit of Angelina for you. So. You're on a boat, quite far out, and you've just dropped your favorite guitar, and you see it float away, right. and all of a sudden, you see this fin. Could be a shark, <laughs> could be a dolphin. No, it, some, it could be a lawyer or an accountant. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> some some two, 200, uh, 200 feet away. Mm -hmm. what, what will you do? What will you do? Buy a new guitar. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when people say, oh, has, uh, has your guitar ever been broken? I say, it's been broken 20 times or something. <laughs> well, what do you do? Does it break your heart? I say, no, just get it fixed and keep playing it. Yeah. You know, but just remember, it's just a hunk of wood. Don't get attached to it. No, no. You know? <laughs> here. All right. And are these California strawberries? Yes, they are. They are. Yeah, we drove through endless miles of strawberry fields. <laughs> yeah. In fact, it was strawberry fields forever. There you it go. was. <laughs> so there we are. And now the apple. Now the apple. And first we got to We're going to turn it on. Exactly. All right. I tend to forget that actually. Yeah, you got to plug it in. So um, there it is. Yeah, so all these uh, apples and berries they've been sitting on uh, on ice mm -hmm. and, uh, and 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 you you make make them really cold just so they're extra delicious yes and, and uh, refreshing yes and okay. I've also purified them with uh, with lime to get rid of the pesticides and, uh, and all oh really that. yes that's that's the way to go so lime gets rid of pesticides yes really yes. lime I didn't and know that. lime and lemon you you put, put them in and just let let them sit there for four or five minutes and you got the purest fruits. Is that true? It's true. You learn something new every day. So. Yes. All right. Do you wear glasses? Yes. Just take that one out. Stir him up? Yes. Wow. So, the band to your, Here it is. <laughs> to your liking. Beautiful. Cheers. Thank you, Tommy. Cheers. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And I'd like to thank my mother for having me. Thank you, Mum. All right. Thank you, Tommy. To your good health. To yours. And, and happiness. And All happiness. Right. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm ready to play a show now. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. This is only Elliot.